Good morning, everyone. My name is Ruben. I'm the marketing here at NetPlus. Thank you for joining us today as we share the benefits of Microsoft 365 with Teams and NetPlus Mobility Voice Solution as a bundled solution for your BCP activation. Leveraging on both platforms for your staff or colleagues, the empowerment and productivity to work remotely from home during this COVID-19 outbreak. A short introduction about the company. NetPlus started as an internet service provider in 2015, which marks this year as our fifth year anniversary. With MediaRing and Wi-Fi Zone Singapore under the NetPlus group of companies, NetPlus aims to simplify and satisfy the communication needs of our customers through the delivery of high quality managed services such as data, cybersecurity, voice, video, mobility, and analytics solution. In short, NetPlus is a managed communication service provider and have received multiple awards and recognition. Last but not least, we are certified as Microsoft Cloud Solution Provider. The following is an overview of NetPlus managed service portfolio. A copy of the online brochure will be emailed to all participants by Monday. Should you need our time for further discussion, my group of consultants will be more than happy to set up an online meeting via Microsoft Teams to discuss further. With the global spread of COVID-19, so too is the number of organizations requiring employees to work from home. As most of you would have known, Singapore Minister of Manpower, Ms. Josephine Teo, recently announced that firms that do not allow telecommuting where reasonably practicable may be issued stop work order. Additionally, a WhatsApp update by gov.sg broadcast that employers must ensure employees work from home as far as reasonably practicable. This applies to all workspaces, regardless of size, for all days. A post by Today Online two days ago published that employers that do not implement telecommuting for their workers even when it is possible to do so could be fined up to $10,000, jail for up to six months or both. If you have seen the news early this morning by CNA, Channel News Asia, the Singapore's COVID-19 cluster was caused by employees who went to work despite being unwell. In updates to the Infectious Disease Act published in the Government Gazette on Wednesday, April the 1st, the same penalties will also apply to workers who still enter a workplace even though they are unwell, as well as to employers that do not implement safe distancing measures at the workplace or fail to cancel events that are not critical to their operations. We can therefore take away that the government is sending a strong message that we should seriously consider working remotely from home to ensure social distancing between colleagues, partners, customers, and strangers during this crisis. This is also a message for businesses to consider business continuity planning. However, businesses have to take into account the infrastructure costs, tools, and overall costs required to shift from a traditional workspace to a modern workspace where all employees need to work productively remotely from home. After my short introduction, we will have Paul Dilek from Wright, Microsoft 365 Strategy and Enablement Specialist to share about the features and benefits of Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. I believe you will find his session useful as businesses are looking to redefine the traditional workspace so that employees can work from home more productively, especially with online meetings and collaboration internally between teams as well as departments. Following Paul's presentation, we will have Boon Singh representing NetPlus to share on voice mobility for the enterprise and small to medium business market. We understand that it will not be practical for employees to work with a traditional office phone at home. And with the mobility voice solution, all they need is a laptop. This is a wonderful platform for telemarketers, inside sales, support staff, and others who require phone system to do their work. 
as the world continues to feel the impact of coronavirus or COVID-19. We know that small businesses are among those with the greatest challenges. Before the end of the session, we will have a live Q&A session to answer any of the que uh, sorry, questions that you may have. Feel free to ask any questions during the webinar and our team of experts will answer as soon as possible. For the most questions selected, we will have coffee gift cards to give away. Do stay until the end of the event and we hope everyone is able to complete a survey that will be sent out via email as we have a lucky draw session and you might be one of the two lucky winners of Plantronics Voyager earpiece. The email of the lucky draw winner will be notified via email. I apologize as we could not hold the lucky draw live as we need to ensure every audience is a known person and that's the reason why I will want everyone to identify yourself through the live chat portion. Without further ado, let's proceed with the session. Paul, all yours. Thank you, Ruben. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul Dilag, and I am RIPE's Strategy and Enablement Specialist. So my primary role and responsibility is to help our partners and our partners' customers across Southeast Asia and Korea in building their journey to the cloud. It is my ab absolute pleasure today to present and share with you all a solution that will drive productivity for your employees during these trying times. Around the world, millions of people have been impacted by the COVID-19 outbreak. It has affected how we get our job done, how we socialize, and our community life. A few weeks ago, in the company that I work with, we were asked to work from our own workplaces just to ensure that everyone is safe from the risk of acquiring the virus. The process we went through to get it started was not easy, but we made sure that we have the right set of tools that will allow our team to stay connected and have the collaboration, which means to me being productive wherever we are. As Microsoft embarked their mission to empower every person and organization to achieve more, I've seen that there is no one size fits all digital transformation strategy. It looks different for every organization. The message becomes clearer to all of us that enabling remote work is more important than ever and that it will continue to have lasting value beyond the COVID-19 outbreak. Microsoft is committed to building the tools that help organizations, teams, and individuals stay productive and connected even when they need to work apart. Microsoft is so big, doing so many things it can seem complex, but their vision is really simple. This is to empower you so that you'll be able to get your job done. And the product that I'm sharing with you all today is Microsoft 365, the world's productivity cloud. The workplace is evolving rapidly and employees have new expectations for work and know how it should get done. Business leaders are embracing these changes and supporting a new work culture of work. This means collaborating in real time, having always on access to files and data, flexibility to work from wherever or whenever, staying safe and secure. But there has historically been a tension between the needs of users and the duty of IT. Users want simplicity, flexibility, and mobility. Users want, want to access their um, the, 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 the latest tools and for their PC to be an asset to their creativity. But IT's duty is to ensure security and compliance often at the expense of productivity. And then, and then the uh, uh, end result has been IT teams providing users with old and updated versions of software, Windows and Office specifically, in order to meet this duty. Microsoft 365 resolves this tension. IT can now deliver, um, deliver the experience users are demanding while meeting their business obligations. And Microsoft is the only company with a solution in the industry that resolves this tension and enables this balance. 
Real transformation requires technology and business teams working and reflecting together to create strategies that drive forward momentum. Companies are evolving with the times, and in this digital era, new technologies are transforming how they innovate, operate, and serve customers. If your organization has a digital mindset, it might be able to achieve something that it couldn't before. You or the organization you belong to could be a user of Office 365 for quite some time already, where the foundation is already in place, or you're planning to decommission your legacy or out of support infrastructure to adapt digital transformation journey. But there are questions that we could be asking ourselves like, how do you get your business users to adopt the new functionality of the platform? Or perhaps your questions could be, with all these applications residing in my business user's Office 365 account, how could I make them maximize its value? The drive of my presentation today is to share to all of you the power of these three pillars of Microsoft 365 as your collaborative and teamwork solution, especially made for your organization. This speaks of collaboration, productivity, and security. I have seen many organizations where value can immediately be harvested through short and targeted action. An example is where Microsoft Teams is deployed but not being utilized within the organization. By initiating a tactical change management intervention with the right behavior, you can quickly drive adoption that can unlock more of its features and capabilities. Teams across the globe are moving to remote work. Microsoft aims to keep, I mean, to keep teams connected while they work apart by making Microsoft Teams available to as many people as possible. Microsoft Teams is the hub for teamwork in Office 365. You can send invitations to everyone you work with, to chat, meet, call, and collaboration in all, uh, I mean, all in one place, no matter where you are. Meeting from anywhere, instantly go from the group chat to video conference with the touch of a button. Teams of 10 or 10,000 can meet in one place, no matter how many places they are in. Collaborate from anywhere. Never do that frantic searching for files thing ever again. In Teams, you can access, share, and edit Word documents, PowerPoint documents, and um, Excel files in real time. With more, than 50 support, with more than 50 supported language and it's growing more and more, inline message transla translation is one of the features that allows people who speak different language, languages to be able to communicate with one another by translating posts in channels and chats. This is part of Microsoft's intelligent communications and collaborative initiative. Make it increasingly easy for companies to embrace the trend of globalization and diverse workforces. Whether you are using Microsoft Teams to connect with suppliers, shareholders around the globe, or you're expanding your internal team with new members, the presence of a translation feature will help to make communication simpler and more dynamic. The way we share information or announce announcement during the Jurassic days was posting it in our bulletin board where everyone will have the visibility to it or in a more advanced way is by sending comms via email. Now, Microsoft Teams allows you to post and relay your announcement in a, in a way that it is creative and loud. Announcements in Teams look sharp and will definitely catch your user's attention, especially if you mark it, mark it as important. In every Teams meeting, those who are hard of hearing might have some chance of following what people are saying. So you can enable this feature so that those people will be able to catch what, what you are um, actually um, having a conversation at. So you can now easily create a meaningful conversation with a person you are in a meeting with. One way to make sure that you can go back to the online meetings that you organize or attended is through recordings. In Microsoft Teams, you can record online meetings that captures audio, video, and screen sharing activity. What's good about unleashing this feature is all your recordings are not required to be downloaded to your devices before you view it. 
it is because processing happens in the cloud and is saved directly to Microsoft Stream, so you can share it securely across your organization. And the bonus when you record a meeting is you can also enable the option for every recordings to have automatic transcription. So you can play back meeting recordings with closed captions and search for important discussion items in the transcript, especially when you missed something out. Transforming your home into a workplace-like venue is becoming a challenge where let's say, for instance, you are worried to have a video call with your colleague or with your peers simply because you got an untidy background and, and the like. So with a custom background featuring teams, soon you'll be able to customize your background into a more professional or even an amusing look. So if someone in your organization is not a fan of using digital whiteboard to get their presentation done or during your brainstorming activities, then magic whiteboard feature is the perfect avenue for you to create meaningful discussions as it is powered by AI to make sure that you don't miss any details being written and presented to you even you are just an attendee virtually. Users don't need to go back and forth between experiences, colla experiences collaborating outside of the client and then integrating those changes and conversations back to finalize their documents. So this real-time co-authoring feature is allowing them to take advantage of the full feature set in Office. So real-time co-authoring delivers instant, en instant engagement within the application, making it more like an in-person work session. Collaborators can align and finalize details of a document more efficiently and quickly. Even if you're working with your co-employee who speaks and understands different language, you can still work efficiently with each other. You see here AI-powered real-time translation of work into, to, into eight different languages. So the slide show um, the AI assisted experience like real time language translation into eight other languages. Sooner or later, uh, Microsoft will uh, start enabling that, that, um, that, that instant co authoring across Outlook and Microsoft Teams plus the Excel. So these components are uh, like tables of data that can be reused across experiences and kept always um, those data in sync. So let's proceed to the next um, pillar, which is the productivity. So you're on the train trying to read your emails or maybe you're in your car thinking about what's new in your inbox and what's in store for you today. These are common moments in the daily life of busy professionals that could be filled with more meaningful or productive activities. Time is precious wherever you are and taking the time to stay on top of your personal communications and commitments may be time, may be time better spent doing other things. The new experience called Play My Mail provides you the images of the people who sent you the emails in a bright and bold way so you can quickly identify the sender or don't look at all. All you have to do is to listen. PowerPoint Designer improves slides for Office 365 subscribers by automatically generating design ideas to choose from. While you're putting content on a slide, Designer works in the background to match that content to professionally designed layouts. So if you're like a, if, if you're a type of a person who didn't receive an artistic gift, this 
feature is uh, perfectly for you. One of the newest AI-based features in PowerPoint is the Presenter Coach, an artificial intelligence system that captures the way how you speak while rehearsing. So the coach gives, gives you pointers that improve your diction, speed, worth, choice, and much more. So that is basically allowing you to enhance your presentation skills. I mean, before you proceed on the actual presentation, you may make use of the presenter, present, presenter coach, which is part of your Office 365 subscription in the PowerPoint, so that you'll be able to get insights on how you could further improve yourselves in presenting to your audience. Okay, finally is the security. So I know that you, your, your IT environment is uh, like complex and likely diversified and um, fragmented in its approach, particularly around security. However, I, I strongly believe that a security environment need not to be complex or fragmented, just like we don't believe in a complex or fragmented approach to productivity. Because media coverage of cybercrime focuses on big names and massive break-ins, you might think that cybercrime only affects large enterprise companies and governments, but that is not actually the case. Cyber criminals are clever and on the lookout for vulnerable businesses of any sizes. SMBs are not immune. In fact, cyber criminals increasingly target smaller businesses, assuming that you may be complacent and unprepared. There are a handful of common mistakes and flaws that uh, bad actors exploit to breach systems, then steal, disrupt, or hold businesses for a ransom. But here's the good news. You don't have to be an easy mark. You can make changes right now to reduce the likelihood of a successful attack. Threat protection in Microsoft 365 helps to keep your business free of hazards such as spam, malware, viruses, phishing attempts, malicious links, and etc. This is while helping you to protect from sophisticated threats, cunningly disguised as email attachments or links, zero-day ransomware, and other advanced threat techniques. Making sure that the sensitive information are still being taken good care, whether your employees are working from their um, home or not, it should always be your top priority. Most business deal with a variety of sensitive information like customer credit card numbers, SSN, DOB, or even intellectual property that is core to the running of the business. Keeping this information safe can be a daunting task for any types of business. With Microsoft 365, ensuring the information security compliance of your organization can take advantage of all these features. Finally, securing your organization. Microsoft recently did some research where they asked their customers, if a budget were not an issue, what would your next IT security purchase be? Do you know what the most popular response was? Many customers answered like, I would hire someone to come in and assess how we are doing and recommend the next things we should uh, do to be more secure within our organization. So that's basically uh, what Microsoft Secure Score is providing. Microsoft Secure Score provides you the visibility 
into your Office 365 and Windows security positions based on your regular activities and security settings. It assigns you a numeric score and suggests ways to improve your organization's posture in a security standpoint. So it's basically like a security credit score. Fitbit to show um, security health, or it's a full full list of everything possible that you could do. We are living in a time of inflection. So digital transformation is the biggest change any of us has seen in our lifetime. Companies invest in technology to optimize operations, transform products, engage customers, and of course, empower their employees. Microsoft 365 deliver, delivers you four key promises. Number one is it un, to, to unlock the creativity, creativity by enabling people to work naturally with ink, voice, and touch, all backed by tools that utilize AI and machine learning. Second one is to provide you the broadest and uh, deepest set of apps and services with a universal toolkit for teamwork giving people flexibility and choice in how they connect, share, and communicate. The third one is sim it, to, to simplify uh, your IT management across users, devices, apps, and services. And lastly, to help safeguard customer data, company data, and intellectual property with built-in intelligent security. Okay, so that's basically what I am sharing with you all today about the teamwork in Microsoft 365. On a side note, I want to emphasize that um, the, the, the real transformation requires a technology and business teams working and reflecting together to create strategies that drive forward momentum. Companies are evolving with the times, and in this digital era, new technologies are transforming how they innovate, operate, and serve, serve their customers. So if your organization has a digital mindset, it might be able to achieve something that it couldn't before. So this is an invitation to reimagine disruptive business models and new capabilities as opportunities. And to revisit business processes through a technological transformation. Thank you all for sharing your time with me. Again, my name is Paul Dilag from Ripe, delivering you the core of teamwork using Microsoft 365. I'll pass on the presentation view to Go Bun Seng. Thanks, Paul. Thank you for the detailed overview of uh, Microsoft uh, 365 and how everyone can use it to collaborate with your colleagues and your customer while you continue to work from home. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bun Seng, Senior Director, Business Development with uh, NetPlus Asia. I have more than 25 years uh, working experience in various MMCs such as uh, PSA, DB Schenker, Landlease, and Capital Land, deploying collaboration services. I will now share with you what is required for you to make use of your existing Microsoft uh, 365 license to enable voice call. At the end of my session, my colleague Mingtak will do a demo on our solution. So let's begin. This is to share with you a very high level of what is required to enable voice. Depending on what Microsoft uh, 365 licensing you have, you will require different licenses and services. For customers uh, that are currently subscribed to Microsoft uh, 365 Enterprise Plan, the solution is simply using the existing MS Teams with NetPlus SIP trunk services. For customers that are on business plan, you will need to subscribe to NetPlus uh, Premium Cloud PABX. I will share more details in the coming slides. So for customer on uh, enterprise licensing plan, you are probably subscribed to any of the E1, E3 or E5 plan. If you are currently subscribed to uh, E1 or E3 license, you will need to add a Microsoft phone system license before NetPlus can integrate your M365 license to our NetPlus SIP trunk. As for customer who are currently on a E5 license, no additional license is required. Once integrated, 
NetPlus will assign level three or six uh, numbers to your company, and that's it. Voice services is activated on your M365 uh, account. For companies who have a uh, PABX, currently have a PABX on premise uh, with ISDN lines, you can choose to either port over your existing group of numbers over to NetPlus, or you can use the newly assigned numbers. Note that porting charges uh, will apply. Once integrated, the rest is simple. You will probably just need to use a, a Microsoft Teams dialer, and this is where you can use it to make uh, or receive phone calls. Uh, note that if you did not enable voice, you will not be able to see the dialer currently uh, on your Microsoft Teams. All contacts in your corporate directory as well as your personal contact will be available in the dialer. So you can just choose the contact and be able to dial out uh, directly from uh, Microsoft Teams. No additional application is required on both your mobile phone or computer. Uh, in addition, some of the features that comes with uh, Microsoft uh, Teams dialer are the call transfer, forward conference call, as well as voicemail. That's uh, as simple as it is for those that are on enterprise license. Now I shall move on to companies that are on uh, business plan. So for customer under this uh, licensing scheme, you need to additionally subscribe to NetPlus uh, Premium Cloud PBX. This will provide you a full-fledged uh, PBX uh, solution hosted uh, by NetPlus in our private cloud. I will briefly touch on the capabilities of our cloud PABX offering in the next few slides. Note that if you have existing PABX, uh, you can always port your existing ISDN lines to uh, NetPlus or subscribe to new lines uh, from us. With our premium cloud PABX, uh, you and your colleagues can continue to collaborate from anywhere, anytime, on any devices. Making calls using different clients. Uh, our premium cloud PBX uh, comes with uh, different clients on both mobile and computers. First is the free uh, mobile app. You can make calls from your mobile contacts using the mobile client. Note that data charges uh, applies as uh, it uses uh, voice over IP. Alternatively, you can call from your computer using the integrated web soft phone which is currently supported on uh, Chrome and uh, Firefox, or the soft client on your computer. This enables you the convenience to make and receive calls from your computer. In fact, from the web soft phone, you can click on any phone numbers uh, displayed in web pages, and you will copy to the, uh, the number to the web soft phone, and with a click on the call button, a call will be made. Lastly, if you, are current, if you currently own IP phones that support SIP protocol, we can even configure your existing phones to work with our cloud PABX. No wastage on your part and as well as cost saving for your company. With all these options, you can make or receive calls anywhere so long as there's a data connection. It can definitely help your company saves on international roaming charges where staff are traveling. You can also make calls between colleagues within companies in various locations or countries. Your staff can always remain reachable anywhere with our cloud PABX solution. So some other added features that come with our premium cloud PABX are integrated. Uh, our solution are integrated with a uh, free voice and web conference. You can easily arrange uh, a voice or web conference from the web portal or from your soft phone. It also comes with standard features such as call forwarding, call transfer, group call setting, call recording. There's even a secretary uh, function if you require it. Another major feature of our cloud PABX solution is the call center function. It comes with a call center dashboard which shows the status of your agents uh, picking up calls, the, the, the number of rings, delayed calls, and things like that. Yep. It can integrate with leading CRM application. To know more, you can contact us after this presentation. 
So how to integrate your M365 business plan to our cloud PBX? Unlike the enterprise solution, we can only integrate your corporate directory, personal contact in Outlook and calendar events from your M365 instance to our cloud PBX. This will allow you to call anyone within the company with an extension number. For those of you who are worried that your mobile contacts are synced to your M365 contact list, rest assured that it is a one-way sync and contacts on your mobile will not be synced to your corporate directory. The only downside is that you can only call your mobile contact via the mobile app and not your web client or soft phone on your computer. Lastly, the dialer detects your real-time uh, calendar events and automatically set your status on the cloud PBX. So if you are in a meeting right now, the dialer will be set to do not disturb and calls can be directed to your voicemail or to a secretary or other colleagues, for example, if you are in a support team. My colleague Ming Ta will let us show more of the soft phone features to you after my presentation. So in summary, depending on what kind of license uh, M365 plans you have, you have various options to enable voice call. Under the enterprise plan, you need to subscribe to the Microsoft phone system license for E1 and E3 M365 plans else you can immediately integrate with our SIP trunk services. For the business plan customer, you will need to subscribe to your cloud PABX. I hope uh, with this information, it gives you more uh, a better idea of how to integrate voice into your existing M365 uh, instance. If you, did further question, if you have further questions, please send us through the Q&A function in this Teams meeting. Otherwise, uh, we, we, you can contact us uh, for further discussion. With this, I end my presentation. Minta will next demo, uh, provide a demo of the features of our Cloud PABX. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Boon Singh, for the earlier presentation. As mentioned, there are different ways of calling using our Cloud PBX solution. It can be done using the mobile apps, cell phones, web dialers on the PC. Now I will do a short demo on some of the features using the, P the cell phones on the PC. To make a call, just click on to the keypad button and dial the number directly. So after the call is connected, you can choose to record the conversation and the, convert and the recording can be Retrieve later on the dollar. Alternatively, you can actually select the contacts from the contact list shown here to make a call. For example, you can choose to call to any one of the numbers shown here, either an internal extensions or an external number. In the dollar, the status of the users in the company are represented by different colors. Green for available. Orange for away. Red for do not disturb. All right, it also shown here on the dollar. My status is now red since I'm now in a scheduled meeting. Which is seen from the Outlook calendar. Anyone calling me will be directed to the voicemail. And once the meeting is over, the status will change back to available automatically and I can receive the call again.
In addition, there is a local contact list which is seen from the Outlook contact. Right. You can see here, this is my Outlook con local contact and the, all the contact information are actually the same in the Outlooks as well as in the 3CX dollar. If I want to change to any one of the contact here, the contact information will be updated in about 5 to 10 seconds, which is shown here now. Next is the call history button. So this is the this is the area whereby it shows all the calls that are being made, received or missed recently. From here, you can fix up one of the call to call back if you want to. Besides the call history, there is the voicemail button, which you can use to hear the voice message that's being left in your mailbox, which you can play back on the dollar itself by clicking the play button. Besides basic telephony, there are some collaboration tools that's built into the dollar. User can do text chatting by clicking on the chat button, which is shown here. Right. You can select a person that you want to chat to. And you can type some simple text message to your colleagues if you want to. Once my colleague receives the message, he will reply back to me and I will be able to see it on the status over here. Other than text chatting, you can also conduct audio conferencing uh, on the fly, or you can set a schedule to do it at some other time by clicking the audio conference. You can do that by creating a subject on itself, You can select the users and you can start now or you can actually schedule. Then you can actually set the scheduled time. Once, is, what is, once the meeting is scheduled, the email will be sent to the participants. For example, I have set a meeting at 5 p.m. So the participants will receive a emails from the 3CX, which is the which based upon from the our clock PBX. So you can see that the subject is being shown as well as what when at which time is the meeting is going to be held. And if the participants is to accept it. This will be added into the calendar meetings in the Outlook. So, in addition, when the time is ready, when the user is ready to participate in the audio conference, he can simply dial the internal number or the external, external number being set and enter the pin number to go into the audio conference. One powerful features for the 3CX is the call center. If you are the manager, you can have a live view of the performance of your team on the dollar by selecting the wallboard view or the queue manager view. So 
in the wall board view, you can you can see the statistics of your team's performance. Right. So there are some basic statistics like average waiting time, average talk time, the number of abandoned calls, and the number of answered calls. Other than the wallboard view, you can also select the queue manager view. Now I will do a, do a short demo on the incoming call. So there's an incoming call coming in and I answer. So on the queue manager view, I can see where, what is the caller ID and who is actually answering the call and the type of call it is. Is it an internal call or an external call? So if I hang up, so the call will disappears and is waiting for the new call. On the dollar, you can also set call forwarding destination for different status. Which you can do here. For example, you are away and you want to forward the call to a mobile phone for internal call uh, sorry, for. For internal call or you can actually forward it to a mobile for external call. Right, this is for the call forwarding. In addition to the PC soft phones, you can also use to make call using the 3CX web dialer. So for example, I want to call a particular number. I just need to click on to the URL. The plugin dialer will fire up and you can call, make a call straight away. Right. So um, with this, this ends my short demo on the clock PBX uh, soft dollar. I will hand